when I see the pictures of the, the tin roofs, the garbage bags, and the kids running around in flies flying around, it seems so desperate and so hopeless. When I think of less than a dollar a day, a billion people living with not enough to sustain themselves, I, I think to myself, it could easily have been me, but you feel a responsibility. Can we make a difference? Most of the people in the slums make less than one dollar a day. It is survival for the fittest and it is very difficult. In Aoti, Here in Aoti, they don't know God at all. They live in extreme poverty. It shouldn't be this way. Sex trafficking is very common in India. Because of poverty, the parents were easily allured by the money and they sent the girl to come out and work. First, they alluring the girl for the better future, and then the traffic in the brothels. The situation in which my people are living is very critical. It's like state of emergency every day. I have a vision to minister to the physical needs of the people, but this is beyond my reach. This is a dream. What really resonates with me is that they're in these circumstances and it's not their fault. It's hard to see those things and then to turn your back. Something in me just rose up. It seems like such an overwhelming problem. What can you do about it? If there's anything I can do, I will do whatever it takes. <laughs>